For title chasing F1 drivers and low rank racers alike, getting out of the first corner the quickest represents the much needed head start that drives you closer to earning a spot on the podium. However, when things go wrong, this potential start line advantage could quickly become an Achilles heel and quite possibly end their title ambitions. Join us in today's video as we take a ride back in time to reveal the most spectacular Formula One crashes after start. Sebastian Vettel headed into the 2017 Singapore Grand Prix, eager 10 points behind championship leader Lewis Hamilton. The German clocked the best time during qualifiers, clinching pole position ahead of Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and Kimi Raikkonen. Hamilton was far out in fifth, so basically the conditions were perfect for Vettel to have a perfect race. Little did he know he wouldn't even complete the first lap. The race commenced from a standing start despite the fact that it had rained earlier. As the lights went out, second place Raikkonen charged down the left side of Verstappen and unfortunately caught the left front of the Red Bull driver. Raikkonen's car lost one of its tyres, consequently spinning into Sebastian Vettel in front. As a result, Verstappen and Raikkonen were condemned to an early shower. Vettel, on the other hand, seemed to have taken the hit quite well and continued to lead the race through the first few corners. But his damaged car eventually crashed before the first lap ran out. Surprisingly, the three drivers escaped sanctions as the FIA ruled that none of them were predominantly responsible for the crash. We move on now to one of the most terrifying start line crashes in Formula One history. Formula One legend Nicky Lauda described the incident at the spa Francor Champs circuit as a stupid accident and it's easy to understand why. Immediately, the green lights went off and Lotus driver Roman Groschon hassled down Lewis Hamilton, who drove for McLaren at the time. Within a few seconds, he made contact with Hamilton's tyres, causing a chain reaction that took out four cars, including his badly damaged Lotus, which plunged into the air and nearly struck Fernando Alonso's head. In the end, Roman Groschon, who was on a streak of seven crashes in 12 races, was held responsible for the crash. The Stewarts regard this incident as an extremely serious breach of the regulations, which had the potential to cause injury to others, the FIA said. Consequently, he was fined 50,000 euros and banned for one race. I misjudged the gap with Lewis. I thought I was in front of him. It was a small mistake, but a big incident. I'm very sorry and I'm just glad nobody is hurt. That's the main thing, the Frenchman said. Start line crashes are quite rare in Formula One but collisions between teammates are even more rare to come by. However, we were treated to a similar spectacle at the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, when two Mercedes drivers, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, clipped themselves early on in the race. Having secured pole position, Hamilton had a head start, but Rosberg, riding on the back of seven consecutive wins, was desperate to maintain his momentum. He zoomed past his British teammate around the first corner with a well-played stunt. However, Lewis Hamilton saw a slight opening to regain his advantage at the third bend and was just about to take it when Nico Rosberg forced him out onto the grass. The FIA wouldn't blame any of the drivers for the incident, but Nicky Lauder, Mercedes' non-executive chairman, was quite certain where to point the accusing finger. It is stupid. We could have won this race, he said. Lewis is too aggressive. I need to talk to them and hear their explanation and then we will see what happens. Ironically, that silly incident paved the way for 18-year-old Max Verstappen to claim his first ever F1 victory, becoming the youngest driver to make podium and also take the chequered flag. Silverstone is one of the most iconic circuits around and it's no surprise that it features in this video. Lotus's Ronnie Peterson was on pole with two McLaren cars driven by Denny Holm and Peter Revson just behind him. Spectators were expecting a stellar race, but they got a spectacular first lap crash instead. The engines probably hadn't revved to maximum when McLaren's third driver, Jody Schechter, lost grip of his car and plunged straight into a wall. He did his best to warn oncoming drivers by waving his arms, but that didn't help much as multiple cars crashed into him, causing one of the worst pile-ups in F1 history. In the end, eight cars were knocked out of the race. 
but surprisingly, only Brabham driver Andre Diadamic was injured and broke an ankle that eventually forced him to retire. Here is another crash between title-chasing drivers. The rivalry between Artin Senna and Alain Pross was at its peak. Going into the 1990 Japanese Grand Prix, Senna held a nine-point lead over his rival, and the tense atmosphere was charged even further by the fact that both drivers had crashed two years earlier at the same circuit. Prost headed into the lead soon after takeoff, but Senna wouldn't let him have the track all to himself. He entered the first corner with enough speed, hoping to outrun Prost, but there wasn't enough tarmac to fit two cars. The moment Senna made the attempt to overtake, Prompt slammed the door on him, but something unbelievable happened next. Art and Senna kept his foot on the gas and ran into the Frenchman at full speed, ultimately retiring both drivers from the race. But Senna went on to become champion, seemingly getting poetic justice for what Prost did to him in 1989. The 2002 Melbourne Grand Prix was yet another spectacular first lap crash in modern history. Ralph Shoemaker attempted a move on his older brother, the F1 legend Michael Shoemaker, in a bid to secure second position and launched an assault on Ferrari's Barrichello in the first position. Eventually, an eight-car crash happened, launching Ralph into the air at a speed of 150 miles per hour over Barrichello before drifting into a wall nearby. Thankfully, Michael Schumacher and Kimi Raikkonen were able to navigate the scene by driving on the grass for a short stint. However, drivers such as Giancarlo Fisichella, Nick Heidfield, Felipe Massa, Jason Button, Oliver Panis and Alan McNish were all affected. The 1987 Australian Grand Prix is downright one of the most chaotic races ever. We were treated to not one, but two start line crashes. There were early warning signs from the qualifying round when McLaren's Stefan Johansson hit a deer while travelling at 170 miles per hour. The deer died on the spot, but gladly Johansson only required minor treatment. McLaren shipped in a replacement overnight and Stefan was ready to go again 24 hours later. But as soon as the lights went out, a collision involving at least four drivers ensued, similar to what played out in the movie Final Destination. However, no casualties were recorded. A restart was scheduled for another start line crash to occur again. This time, it was Nigel Mansell who triggered the unfortunate domino effect that wiped out around half of the entire grid. As a result, another restart was scheduled and Nigel Mansell miraculously won the race at the third time of trying. Running through these iconic start line crashes with you has been quite interesting, more because it brings the incredible safety record of the F1 to bear and also highlights how Formula One drivers continue to push the limits every single time they get an opportunity to race on the track. It's your turn now. Which of these would you say is the most memorable start line crash? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. That's it for today. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.